hi guys so today i'm gonna film my uh nail area tour i'm finally filming it and i'm so excited for you guys to see um i did not start off with any of this when i first started doing nails when i first started i had literally nothing i had like a small little table and probably like a few racks for my nail polishes and that's about it and it's very much grown since then. So I really wanted to make this video so that you guys can get some inspo or maybe some ideas on how to decorate your space. And uh, I'm also going to be letting you guys know throughout the video where everything's from, just so you guys know. And if you guys ever want me to link anything, of course, you know, comment down below what you guys would like me to link. And um, I'll go ahead and link it for you. So let's get started. So my nail desk is a normal desk and i actually got this marble piece put onto it 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 didn't come with it it just came with like a normal um like brown topping like top and um it's a normal desk and it worked out perfect as a nail desk because the other side has drawers on it and this is the perfect client side so this side is where the clients sit that side is where i sit and i have this client chair that i just got um literally today so i got it it's brand new and um it's really nice and really comfortable for my clients and i like that it doesn't have armrests of course i want my clients to be super comfortable but having armrests would um make the clients you know feel like they sh they want to put their arms on the armrest which would be hard for me to since considering that i'm going to be doing their nails so um that's where that's from um my this thing i think i got this from aliexpress which it's so cute i don't remember how much i paid for it but i can link a similar one down below i got it when i first started doing nails so it's pretty old and yeah if you want to link i'll definitely link it for you my nail lamp is super super cute it's from enel couture so that's where that's from and i have this like little plant right here that i sorry if my hands are shaking okay um i got this little plant right here that i propagated from another plant that i have outside so i didn't buy one i just cut a little piece off and it's just growing but some of the leaves were falling off because i forget to water it i'm such a bad plant mom so this little rock is a real authentic crystal it's really heavy really nice and i just like it for decoration it's really cute i have a big bottle of hand sanitizer right here for clients to use whenever they come in and i sanitize the top every time I see somebody use it. So, you know, after every single client, even if a client doesn't use it, I'll still sanitize it. And I sanitize all of this when clients are, after clients leave, you're gonna see my cleaning station. You can kind of see it right there, but I'm obsessed with cleaning supplies. So I like when my space looks really clean and stuff. Sorry, if you get a glimpse of this side, it's kind of a mess over there just cause I'm in the middle of cleaning this space is inside of my room in case you guys were wondering i don't have like my own salon or anything like that it's not fancy it's just my own space that i decided to decorate and i literally spend more than 12 hours here a day sometimes so i want it to be comfortable i want it to be cute and i want to feel like i'm in a nice comfortable place and so yeah that's where that's from um this table shield is from a lady here in san jose that sells them i found her on facebook marketplace i'm sorry if i'm like breathing really heavy if you guys want to buy one it costs only 30 dollars, which is such a good deal and it's the perfect size it has a really nice large hole right here for you and the client so if you guys are interested in getting one if you live in the san jose area or any cities around there i'll dm you her number or um i could comment her number down below or put it in my bio i did get permission from her to put her by her phone number in this video or on my Instagram, I let her know that if I can do that. And she told me, yeah, it was, it was totally fine. So you can message her for one. Again, they're only 30 bucks. So grab yourself one. Um, This little light is from Home Depot, I believe. I had this one before I got this huge ring light. And I have this one, to be honest, it doesn't light that well because the light is pretty yellow. It's more of like a reading lamp or a desk lamp, I would say. And I still keep it here because I like having double light. So this one has more yellow. This one's super, super white. And this one I got off of Amazon. If you guys want the links to anything, of course, I'll link it for you guys. This little phone holder, I freaking love. This one I got from Amazon, I think, as well. And I look again, I can link that too. So 
the things that I know are easy to like find, I'll link for you guys. And if it's something more difficult, I'll go and look for it if somebody requests it. This little keychain is from Marie's Tiendita on Instagram. I'm going to tag her because you're probably going to see a few things from her store here. She has the cutest online store. And I keep this as a little decoration. It is just like a little keychain for your keys or like your bag or something. But I feel like it looks so cute right there. And right here, you can barely see it because I have a bunch of stuff in the way. But... This is my little cuticle oil um, sign that I have here for my pre-made cuticle oils. So when clients come in, if a client comes in and gets their nails done, they can choose a little cuticle oil right there that it's already made. And on the backs of the cuticle oils, which I'll show you guys in a bit, I already have the scents and everything. So I made those already pre-made in case anyone wants to buy one. And I made my little list of prices with the type of bottle. And I just decorated it really cute. And I in the bottom right there, I put the ingredients sorry if my nails look so ugly i cut them so i can remove them but i haven't done it so that's that and these little butterfly decorations you're gonna see probably a lot of as well um those are from amazon so they just come in a big pack and they come with the little stickers they're really cute i just like them to decorate and right here i just have this little plant this is just hanging on this side so this is what clients will see that they'll be sitting next to it it's right there and this little butterfly was actually a tree ornament, which is kind of funny, but I got it like two years ago. And it's a really nice butterfly with like crystals on it. It's really cute. So I just wanted to put it there. And then just like some random stuff hanging there that I love. My Disneyland lanyard with my little pins. And then my little uh, necklace from Hawaii. And up here, I have a lot of paintings around my room too. I have one over here that I painted. So before being a nail artist, I actually was a painter and I still am a painter but I don't paint as much as I used to this painting I made with my dog so it's really cute it's really special those are all her paw prints and this is a little plant holder that is super cute it's handmade and I got it from Etsy and the little plant inside of it I just got from Home Depot I love the little plant holder though she has like different animals too I think she has like a little sloth um, I'll definitely link her shop down below. Any small business little shops that I mentioned, I'm going to definitely uh, put their Instagrams or their Etsy shops or their websites in my description box. So you guys can definitely purchase from them and support a small business because this is so cute. And it's really tiny. Look at my hand next to it. It's like the size of my hand, but it's so adorable and I love it. So I have a real plant inside there. And then I think that's all for this area. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the other side and show you guys my workspace where I sit. So this is the view from here. This is what it looks like. Um, no client ever stands right here because this is on this side over here behind me is actually my room. I have my bed over here and stuff, but I, you know, make sure everything's really clean, nice and organized for clients when they come in. So on this side... You could see all of my nail polishes, my beautiful light. I'm going to keep showing you guys because it's so beautiful. I'm so in love with it. I'm going to try to dim the lights. Let me see. I dimmed it a little bit so you guys could see it. It says Nail Slayed by Val, which is my Instagram name or like my logo. And I have this cute little sign right here that says follow your heart. So when clients are sitting down, they're, that's what they're reading. The TV's just covering it a little bit. So I have the TV turned this way. This is my little <laughs> my little uh, jewelry section. You can ignore that. But um, this is my TV. I have a big TV that clients can uh, watch when they come in. Every single time a client comes in, I'll put a movie on or a show. If they request a show, which sometimes clients do, but some, most of the time clients don't care what I put on for them. And um, a cool tip for nail techs that are either just starting or nail techs that want to time themselves with their timing on how long they do their nails or how long they take on a set i put on a movie that's approximately like two hours and that's how i time myself so once the movie's like ending i'll be like okay i've already taken like two hours so that's how i time myself and i know how long i'm taking on a set i used to put music on and i noticed that i would take forever because i wouldn't know how much time was passing by so i love putting a movie on um it's a really good idea and before i didn't have my table like this i had my table turned this way so it would be like on this wall like that. But I got this air conditioner put in. And um, this table is like this now. So I like this setup way more. 
and this is just in a little corner of my room so like again i'm just saying like one more time this isn't anything fancy this is just my little space and the way i decided to decorate it um so up here sorry i was rambling up here i have this light i'm definitely gonna tag where it's from because i absolutely love it it took maybe like two or three weeks to come but it is the cutest thing ever you get to customize yours you get to choose your color you get to choose your font it's so cute the way you get to customize it and i'm gonna link the website where you can buy it and um these little butterflies again they're from amazon and then right here i'm gonna turn the brightness up a little bit so you guys can see so right here i have some extra backups of my king of nail under gel i'll just zoom in right there sorry it's not focusing Okay, so that's my King of Nail Wonder Gel. I just have backs backups of it because it's when I bought it, I think he was trying to get rid of the old packaging. So they were really affordable because he was just trying to get rid of it, get ready for his new packaging. I think that's why they were so cheap, but they were like $4 each one. And then I have some, what is that? Candy Jelly from Enel Couture as well, or King of Nail on Instagram. I have this cute little uh, tray that says Angelita and it's so cute so that means like angel or little angel i think in uh english and again that uh little thing is also from marie's tiendita on instagram and marie's tiendita.com which i'm also gonna like i said earlier i'm gonna um put her link or her instagram name in the description box and i highly recommend you guys check out her stuff she has the cutest earrings so many cute things and little pins which i'm gonna show you guys right now which i have some of I got this cute little painting. I think her name is um, M Moon Altered. Moon Altered Art. I think that's her name on Instagram. I'm so sorry if I got that wrong. I follow a lot of artists, so sometimes I get confused. But I bought this from her. It's so freaking beautiful. I'm like so in love with that. I'm going to grab it so you guys can see. Okay, there we go. Um... I got this from, I think her name is Moon Altered Art. I believe that's her name. But I'm also going to tag her Instagram or um, put her Instagram in the description box so you guys can check out her art. It's so beautiful. And uh, this is just a small piece that I bought from her just because I wanted some small decorations for my nail area. But yeah, it's so beautiful. Look at her. She's cute. I'm going to put it back. So there's that. This little V, if you guys didn't know, my name is Valerie. So I got that little V from target and it also lights up but i haven't put new batteries in there so, uh i have this little thing it opens up and you can put stuff inside of it and it says i am grateful for so you can put like little pieces of paper and put what you're grateful for inside which is super cute and yeah so i have my ears from disneyland up here i just think they're so cute because they're like so creative they have like paint brushes on them so they're like meant for an artist you know and up here I have some collages. This one's kind of funny, but um, I literally made my boyfriend help me do some collages and like decorate. And he ended up having fun in the end, which is cool. But he did that one. <laughs> and it's funny because like clients will always point it out and they'll be like, what's up with that? And I'm like, oh, that's my boyfriend's a little collage. So I wanted to hang it up too, just because it's cute. And this one is mine. So I did this collage. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I'm talking so fast. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if I talk too fast because I'm so nervous. I don't know why. So I just got a bunch of magazines. This is a super cute idea and it's super inexpensive. If you can find some used magazines, you can just create a cute collage for your nail area or your art room or your, even your just your bedroom, which is super cute. So I got this little one. It says, I will manifest the checking account I was meant to have, which is super cool. I have a little chocolate bar. I have a little thing that says pet lover because I am an animal lover. I have a lot of animals. I have four turtles and one dog and two birds. <laughs> if I can have more animals, I would. So um, it also just says baby girl on it. And it says moments most remembered are often ones you didn't plan at all. I put one that says woman. I'm all about woman empowerment and no strong woman and woman entrepreneurs and everything like that. So that's my little collage and then right here i have this super super adorable little painting this is from oh my gosh i don't remember her instagram name right now off the top of my head but i'm gonna put peach painting and then i'll go ahead and put her instagram as well again she's a small business as well so all the little cute little handmade things or hand painted stuff 
or uh, little like knickknacks and stuff that I have are all from small businesses. I like to support as many people as I can because I have so many people that support me. So I want to give back, you know. Um, I don't know if she does more paintings, but she might if you ask her. I'm not sure. But yeah, she does make a lot of super adorable jewelry. I highly suggest you check out her Instagram as well. She has like little boba earrings, I think, that I saw. Those are so adorable. I really wanted to get some. These are all swatches of all the nail polishes I have all here. Up here, I have some miscellaneous ones. I think are all eye gel beauty or D&D. &D. A few of them are D&D &D just because that's the brand I originally started with when I started doing gel polish. And these are all my glitters. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys what my little cuticle oils look like. So these are all of my pre-made cuticle oils. These little mini ones. I have these glass ones, these popsicle ones, and these bigger bottles right here. And they're super, super cute. Right here, I just have little stickers, just random stuff that I just stuck on here. This cuticle oil is one I use for myself. So I just have it hanging right there. Right here, I have my little sticker it says heartbreaker it's so cute right here and this sticker is also from a small business this is from murder face art on instagram i'm also going to tag her instagram so that you guys can go ahead and dm her or shop with her and get some super cute stickers right here i have my little flashy lamp from enel couture it's a little led lamp but it flashes and it's like a small one so that's super cute i don't use it but it came with a kit that I bought from uh, King of Mill. So there's that. And then right here I have all of my... Sorry if the camera's like shaking. I have really shaky hands here. Um, I have all of my King of Nail painting gels. And all of my King of Nail shiny gels and my press-on gel. These are like some of my favorite things. These shiny gels are amazing. If you want to look for a good top coat, I highly recommend these. These have glitter pre-made built into them, which is amazing. So it's a glittery top coat, gel top coat, which is amazing. And these ones, the silver bottles, are the regular ones, just the clear. And then right here, I have little essential oils, which are all natural. And they're the ones I use for my uh, cuticle oils. Right here, I have my King of Nail, more King of Nail stuff, or Enel Couture stuff. Base gel, wonder gel, um, cuticle oil, prep and primer, gummy jelly, and candy jelly, I believe. And then right here, my planner. This is what I use book clients or when I would take clients, I would just put them in here and write out the person's name and then the times that, they come, that they're going to arrive and on the date that they're going to come. This is just my notebook where I write down all the things that I'm uh, going to sell because I've started selling nail supplies on my Instagram. And... Right here is where I write down all of my press-on orders. And right here is my little cleaning area or my cleaning corner. This is my favorite little corner. It's I have a lot of cords because I just have so many lights. So I'm sorry about that. It's a mess kind of with the cords. I need to find a better way to situate all of these. But I have Clorox wipes. Um, I'm going to come right here. I have Clorox wipes. I have a big gallon of Barberside right here. I have my Koopa monomer. I have my monomers here too, just because it holds it really perfectly. So I have my Koopa monomer. This one is my, oh, this one is my JC Beauty Concepts monomer. Um, this is just a disinfectant spray. This is also an antibacterial disinfectant spray. And this is a Clorox disinfecting spray and a Lysol spray as well. So... When you're a nail tech, sanitary actually is like the number one important thing. So make sure you're disinfecting your stuff. I even have two backup gallons of Barberside just in case because it's my nightmare to run out of that. Because if I run out of that, I'll freak out. So I have two extra gallons right here. And I got so lucky because these just came in the mail. And ever since Corona, I haven't been able to find these for a good price. But I found these ones and I got them two for 40 I think. I got this little organizer for my um, little my little bottles and stuff. I got that from Amazon. I don't remember how much it was, but of course, if you guys want the links to anything, just let me know. Comment down below. In the bottom of this, I just have different things. I have a little coconut oil, which I also use for my cuticle oils. I have another one of those wipes of Clorox. 
I have a Mia Secret monomer gallon right there and another one over there. So again, it's also my nightmare to run out of monomer. I have a lot of different monomers and I've been trying new ones, which is why I have two different brands up there. Usually I use Mia Secret. That one works for, for me. It's the one I've been using since I started doing nails, but um, it makes my whole house smell like monomer. And it's really, really strong. And you know, if you have people in the house that aren't used to the smell of a little trash can, it's clean right now. It's empty. I just emptied it. So it's just the little baggie that I have right there. And I buy those little baggies from the dollar store. And I think this little trash can I got from Ross. I think I got it from Ross or from Home Goods. One of those two. And I also have another one of these that I didn't show you guys on the other side for my clients in case they need to throw something away. This right here is one of the most amazing things ever. So this book right here is my big book of foils and different types of little things. These are all of my foils it's in this binder and this is the way i organize them i have a ton of stickers i have butterfly ones here that don't fit in these little slots so butterfly stickers i also have some little flame stickers right here so this right here is like a little golden leaves these are little angel stickers which i love these are super super popular right now i people always ask me for these and then I have more of those in different styles. So I have more of these. These are all from AliExpress. If you guys want me to link them, I'll for sure link them. Sorry, this video might be super long because I have a ton of stuff. Hi, guys. Uh, I just wanted to do a voiceover right here real quick and let you guys know. Uh, feel free to comment and tell me if you guys want an in-depth nail art video of all my nail, nail art. Because I couldn't show it in this video. It's just way too long. So let me know. Um, baseball card holders or I'll link the ones that I bought. I bought a huge pack of them um, and they're pretty cheap too. I'm sorry if this video is literally going to take forever. I don't know how this turned out to be like a nail art haul too. I mean a nail art tour. I'm sorry about that. I should have made it a separate video so you guys don't have too long of a video to watch. Um, These are super cute little Jack Skeleton ones. These are like little nail stickers as well. Um, Let me know if you want me to link these. These are adorable. These are little Ariel ones. Minnie Mouse. Some like neon ones. Ariel. 
And these are some Winnie the Pooh. Right here, they're super cute. More Winnie the Pooh, butterflies, little cactus ones, which are so freaking cute. I've never used these, but I want to use them so bad. And more little cactus ones. These are little adapting dishes. They have little holes so that they can just sit there and they don't move around. And before I move on to my actual desk, I wanted to show you guys more of this right here. So this is my little apron that I got from Enel Couture. I got this because I ordered one of the kits, the XXL coffin kit i think is what i ordered and it comes with this little apron so it's really cute and it works i mean it's like this material that like thing water if water spills on it or like a liquid it doesn't stain it it'll just spill off which i love because i make a really big mess and it even has a little pocket right here which i also love and i have these super cute little pins um these little pins are also from marie's tiendita on instagram and i highly suggest you guys check her out these earrings are from her shop as well this one's like don't give up this one says that and then this one says angel on it and this one is a pin that i got from glitter bells when i ordered from them so yeah that's my apron and that's what i wear every time every time i take a client or i'm doing press-ons so right here these are all organized by color and then teals and then blues and then purples pinks pink light pinks oranges reds dark reds and then it goes to yellows greens and then all I'm um, sorry, just yellows and then all my nudes. And right here are my most used nudes. Bio Seaweed Gel, which these are kind of pricey. They so I really wanted some. I just wanted to try out, or try them out. I wanted to see the quality. I have backup top coats and some foil transfer gels, which are used for my foils. And if you want me to link anything, even my foils, even my acrylics, whatever you want, I'll link it for you. And in case you guys are wondering also, I do have an LED strip around my shelf, so I do have that. I have an air conditioner right here. Um, I have Valentino powders here. The right here, I have some Yakulin Acosta acrylic powders, which are amazing. I highly recommend these. The quality is super bomb. I did a little mini swatch of these on my Instagram um, before when i got them i should have done it on youtube but i didn't film it unfortunately this one flamingo is so beautiful i did it on one of my sets the consistency is so amazing it doesn't marble it's super sheer it's a nice perfect sheer pink but not too sheer it's so beautiful these ones are some glitter bells ones it's core powders which i've also never used on nails yet i just swatched those in one of my last videos so then right here, sorry guys, I'm out of breath. I'm like talking so fast. So right here, I have markers in this little container that I got from Amazon. I mean, no, not Amazon. I got this from Home Goods. sorry. It has a little holder, which is cute. So you can like carry. I have a lot of markers because I make thank you notes for my press on nail orders and I like decorating them. Right here are some nail art brushes that I don't really use. They're kind of just extra ones that I have just in case I need backups. I have a lot of scissors. I have some of my favorite pens. These pens are amazing. If you like super smooth pens, screenshot this because you'll love these. These are the Energel pens. These are the breast cancer ones, so they're pink, but they're so cute. They work so good. And I have backups of them because I don't want to run out. So these are more pens. These are also the Energel ones, just the thinner ones. I have some hand sanitizer. This is my personal hand sanitizer. I use this only for myself. This one is a little box that is so freaking adorable. I got this from a small business as well. Her Instagram in the description box so that you guys can see her work as well. It's so beautiful. It's so cute. So there's that. And I put this over here, but this is what I used for my paint when I need a mix. This nail glue dryer, if you use um, Zule's Nail Shop glue, resin glue, you buy this. This is way cheaper than buying those little Mia Secret spray. Do not buy these. Buy this. It's way cheaper. It doesn't even run out. It lasts you such a long time. 
So go ahead and buy yourself some of this instead of this. I have my barberside certificate. I have my little sanitizer and disinfectant jar. It's empty right now just because I haven't taken any clients. But of course, you know, once I get some dirty tools, I'm going to have this ready and prepped to go so that I can scrub the tools down and sanitize and disinfect them in here. And this is a little bottle of alcohol. Just plain alcohol. I just keep it here. So now we're going to move on to my actual desk. So right here, I have my nail drill. This is my Melody Susie nail drill. I got this on Amazon. The link just rubbed. I mean, the link. The, what is this? The label rubbed, rubbed off because I cleaned this with acetone because i spilled gel polish all over it so i was like oh okay the perfect way to remove that is with acetone not realizing that it was going to take this off so yeah it's a really good drill um really good quality before this one i was using one that was horrible so this one's really good I have it stuck on here with a sticky tape this double-sided sticky tape i get that on amazon it's just type in thick double-sided tape if you want to glue anything down without actually gluing it this stuff is perfect because you could peel it off if you don't want it but it's so strong like this will not come off so i also have this little dust dust brush here which this is actually from real techniques it is actually a um makeup brush but it's so soft and it works really good to get dust off nails this right here is the cuticle oil i use for my clients i like how it's a dropper so i don't even have to touch their skin with drop a few dots on each finger and then oil their cuticles up this is all of my most used nail art stuff so i have these cute little brushes from enail couture or king of nail on instagram there's his logo right there his stuff is like just so cute like i love the aesthetic of everything that's why i love his stuff like it's just so cute so this is a gel brush that you use for his builder gels um i've used my builder gels for a few of my press on sets and it's really good it's self levels so you can apply it really ugly and it'll flatten itself out i don't know how to explain it but it's really cool so yeah that's where that's from acrylic brushes here i have a lot of extra brushes just because i don't want to have like a dirty brush or anything and then a client come in and i don't have a clean one i have backups on backups on backups of brushes just because you never know sometimes you know i'm human i forget to like i forget to clean the acrylic out really well and they'll dry in there which is really bad so don't do that because this is what will happen to your brush it's ruined it's super hard and the acrylic just dried in there and i was never ever able to take take it out I soaked it in acetone and it just ruined it even more. So don't forget to clean your acrylic out of your brushes so this doesn't happen to you. I also have this other Enel Couture brush. This is for gel as well, I think. But it's pink and has little rocks in it. It's so cute. Um, I just have cleanup brushes. These from AliExpress are my favorite cleanup brushes. So when I put gel on the nails, gel polish, or gel top coat, sometimes I'm kind of messy with it, or I am pretty messy with it. So I'll use these, this little brush. And this is a brand new one, but I do have other ones. So these are my wax pens that I'm also going to be selling on my Instagram. This is a cute pen. I just have it here just because it's cute. It's from Disneyland. I love Disneyland in case you couldn't tell, but this is from Disneyland and it lights up. So it's so cute. I just have it there just for decoration purposes. This is a wax pen that I used up. It's really small now. It's like the size of my hand and it used to be the length of that one right there. So I use a lot of wax pens. These are the ones I use the most. I really like them. And I just have backup acrylic brushes, JC Beauty Concepts brush, rose gold, super cute. I have my X-Acto knife in here to practice my V-Cut French as well. I need to keep practicing that, so that's why I have that here. I have some of my favorite nail art brushes as well. These ones are super thin, super cool if you like doing line work. These are like my favorite ones. These are really good brushes. And they're pretty too, they have like glitter in them. And then I have like my dotting tools, which are also amazing. If you want to do cow print or leopard print, uh, let me know if you guys would like a video on how to do it with those little dotting tools. It's super easy. You don't even need to be artistic to do it. Trust me. It's so simple. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have there. And then I have my Mia Secret brush on glue, which I've never used. It's brand new. 
I just wanted to try it out. And then this is my extra bond and my nail prep, which I've just started using. I heard that it's really good, so I'm not sure. I've used it on a few clients already, and their nails all lasted, have been lasting a really long time. So, yeah, I used it on a few people that I've just practiced nails on, and it's doing good so far. So, hopefully, that turns out to be a good thing. So, I'm going to take you guys into my drawers as well. Um, I feel like you guys would be upset if I didn't take you in my drawers. So let me know what you guys like to see. Let me know if you guys like seeing everything or if you guys don't like seeing everything. I don't know. I just like making videos. So yeah. So let me know if you guys think I'm taking too long. So this video is going to be super long. Right here I have random things. This is like my random junk drawer I guess you could say. I just have random stuff here. Pigments. Some gels and stuff that i just try wanted to try out but i don't use i have a tape measure here just in case you never know i have my lint-free wipes which i love these are a must if you are just beginning to do nails let me know i'll tag them down below they're from opi i have some hand sanitizers in here they're just mini ones i have a lot of hand sanitizers i don't use these for clients these are just here i just have them in here probably for myself but i also have the big bottle i showed you guys earlier these nail files are the files I use specifically for press-ons. So these are specifically for press-ons. They have never touched a human's nail or human's skin. I only use those to file down the press-ons when I need them to be more shape, more straight. So there's that. These are also buffers that I use specifically for press-on nails as well. Um, right here I have some Advil, some Tylenol. You already know that when you're in nail tech... You might get a headache and you got to take that client, you know, you can't cancel. So um, I have some Advil, I have some Tylenol, I have some chapstick right here. I have some gum because, you know, you never know. And right here I have my thank you stickers for my press on orders as well. Sorry if you see some gems just thrown in there. I just, I make a big mess when I'm doing nail art stuff. In this little container right here, I have some cute rings. These are super pretty. They're so cute, and I got these from AliExpress, actually, which is crazy, and these other rings that I have in here as well. So, I use these, um, well, I'm going to start using these when I start taking clients, and I'm going to use these to um, take pictures when I'm done with the nails. So, put it on their finger to take a cute picture like that, you know, like that, super cute. So, I have those. And they were pretty inexpensive, so if you want me to tag those or link them down below, let me know. So yeah, this one drawer is kind of messy. It's kind of random. Stuff I don't really use and stuff I use only for myself, not for client. So there's that. Next drawer is going to be my acrylic drawer. Random acrylics in here. I have some Mia Secret. These are all Mia Secret colored collection acrylics. You can't really see them that good. But these are just different colors. These are Valentino. These are like pastel ones, to be honest. I don't know like I love like I don't mind wasting money I don't mind anything like that because I have a lot of expensive ones I have um you know all different types of brands from all different price ranges and I like buying the best of the best but these Valentino powders did not live to my expectations like when people rave about them I thought they were going to be super amazing and they're really good quality but I do find that they marble which I don't like at all I don't like how they marble because it's kind of hard to work with but I still use them and of course I'm still gonna get some use out of them and I always make it work so that's the good thing but this is just a Mia Secret White. This is a Mia Secret uh, Cover Nude Blush, which is a really nice nude. These are all Young Nails. I purchased these directly from the website. So I have Cover Bear, Co Core White, um, Cover Peach, Speed Clear, Speed Frosted Pink, Cover Rosebud, Cover Blush. This one is Cover Pink, and I have Speed White speed white this white is super white a uh, super stark white kind of like the meal secret one this one that's like this one those are the same kind of and the core white is more of like a milkier type of white not as bright as this white these are some Zo zoave or zoave 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 ones i don't know how to pronounce this i'm so sorry i've never heard someone actually say it um i've never even watched reviews on these or anything like that uh, the colors are really nice. I swatched them on top just so I can see the color. Like orange, super cute. This is a nude. This one is a blue one, but the color came off. It's like a mustardy yellow, pink, like all different ones. 
So those are cute. These are all of my Glitter Bells ones, which if you watched my last video, you know which what these are and what they look like. Um, I did a whole swatch video on my Glitter Bells. It was my first time ordering them and they're so pretty. I love them already. So there's that. I'm going to stick to the left side and continue from here. So right here in this drawer, I have all of my rhinestones. So these rhinestones right here are pointed back ones. I'm going to show you guys because I feel like you guys want to see. These are all of my pointed back rhinestones. Sorry, let me turn the camera. These are point back rhinestones. These ones are, oh, let me turn it around. This sticker is so cute. Also from Murder Face Art on Instagram. I'm going to, of course, put her name, Instagram name in the description. Sorry, the glare from the ring light. These are all of my normal stones, all mixed up. It's a mess because I use these so, so, so much, but I have them all mixed up. These it, these are my whole entire tray of Swarovski only. So these are all Swarovski crystals. Um, these ones are not, but they're still superior quality. They're super, super shiny. I don't buy like that look plasticky. So these are all Swarovski ones. Super pretty. Look at that shine. Yeah, so these are stunning, of course. I bought these big ones just for fun. I just wanted to have them, but I don't think I'll ever use them. Next in this drawer... These are all my nail charms. Some of these are more expensive. So when I put them on nails, they might cost more. Like these ones, these are really expensive. So um, these ones are all like cheaper. And I have some Halloween ones. I have some chains. I have some hearts. I have some more hearts. I have some turtles and stuff. If you saw my AliExpress haul, some of the stuff is in here as well. I have some lips and some cherries, which are super cute. I have some seashells, um, angel wings. Random things, just random, random things. Each one, it's the size of my hand. This is my favorite clear powder so far. So I love that. This is a Young Nails Swipe. It's a, a big one as well. Sorry if it's kind of dirty in there. I It's like all glitters and random things. Um, when I put this drawer open more, I have more rhinestones right here. And I have my pink gloves. I have this little Pokemon thing. I use this to grind up my... Uh, gold foil you can see some gold foil right there I have my beats headphones just because when i'm working on press on orders i like to listen to podcasts or um watch videos and stuff like that right here i have my makeup sponges that i use for gel ombre gel polish ombre then moving on to the next drawer right here i just have a bunch of clean little brushes to scrub the nails uh, I use these on clients they're all disinfected and sanitized right here I have um, some little those little fruits and stuff for your nails right here I have more rhinestones these are my big big packs of rhinestones I feel like if I show you guys everything it is going to be too long of a video so let me know if you want an in-depth nail art I'll definitely show you guys Moving on to this side, right here, I have a bunch of random stuff. So I have my little sharpener. I use this to sharpen my wax pencils. And I got this from AliExpress. I have my cuticle wood sticks, which are cuticle pushers. I use these on clients because they're disposable. I don't like reusing things on clients. It is bad. Don't reuse anything on clients. Every time you use something on a client, make sure you throw it away. Hi guys, sorry, I wanted to cut in here really quick and uh, kind of explain what I was talking about when I said to throw everything away. I didn't mean everything like your metal stuff, you know, um, make sure you sanitize those ones. But as far as buffers, nail files, and cuticle pushers, I dispose of them after each client. But I'm looking for a more renewable way to um, go up, which will include clients taking home their own buffers and their own files after every appointment or their first appointment and bringing it back for their next appointment. So that's another way to do it. These are my sanding bands, medium grit. I like the white ones more than the brown ones. These are all sanitized tools, cuticle pushers, drill bits, random things. I just have them thrown in there. Um, scissors, 
all of this is already sanitized and ready to go. Some cuticle oils uh, containers. These are only for when I want to make little displays to post on my Instagram. Uh, these aren't the ones that I uh, make for clients or customers. I have those in boxes. These ones are just for me to make little uh, ones to post or for display or for photo shoots, videos, things like that. I, I have them right here. These are band-aids. Um, for me, I put these around my thumb or my index fingers when I file nails because I file my finger instead of filing the clients. So I learned that trick recently of, of doing clients maybe like a few months ago before Corona started. I do that now. Um, I'd rather cut my own nail or cut my own finger than cut my client's finger. So there's that. And so those act like as a barrier so that it doesn't cut my skin. These are KDS nail glues. These are just a whole thing. I have backups on backups of these. These are, this is the little heart thing that presses down your nail charms. The little, the little ones so they can round them out so that they're not flat and they don't lay up on the nail. These little things to take pictures with. Um, backup acrylic brush in a box. White out. Uh, my favorite nail tip cutter from Enel Couture. Super cute. Super sturdy. Love that. Next is my press-on nail drawer. So this whole drawer I use to package my press-on orders. So I have my buffers. I have my thank you cards right here. I have thank you stickers. I have little baggies. These little organza baggies, which are these I send out with all my orders them in there these are the cuticle pushers i send with orders so for the ones i send these high quality ones the plastic ones and um i have my alcohol my alcohol prep pads for them to prep their nails before they apply their press-ons i have ribbons back here which i just pull the color that i want i have them set up already um and i use these to wrap around my press-on nail boxes i have stickers i have the sticky nail tabs right here i have little rings i give a ring with each order just a random one i just throw one in there um they can use it as like a cute knuckle ring to take pictures or you know anything with their nails just as a free gift i have a lot of post-its because i use so many of these and yeah that's pretty much all i have in here and right here i have my instructions and removal um pre-cut so that i grab them and just put them into the thank you note and then last but not least this drawer this is my nail tip drawer. So I have all my nail tips in here. And I have these paper towels that don't usually go here, but they just didn't fit anywhere else. Um, these are my BT Art Box coffin tips that I use for press ons. These are my BT Art Box regular tips that I use for acrylic nails. If you're a beginner, I highly request these, suggest these. I feel like they're super good quality and they help me shape my nails really, really nicely. So I love those. These are just swatch sticks and extra, extra long tips and swatch sticks. I have some Mia Secret Royal Square tips. These are super popular for making tapered square. You just cut the sides and it makes it really nice. I have some Mia Secret royal square dupes which i love i haven't used them but they look identical to the royal mia secret royal square and i got these on amazon so I'll, i could try to find them if you guys want me to link it let me know these back here are all of my email couture boxes and nail tips so these are 100 pure gel tips which means they're very good quality these are my extra long stiletto and I have a lot, so I'm not going to show you everything, but these are the beige coffin ones. These are really nice. They're already colored for you. And I have, which ones are these? XXL squares. So these are the square full cover tips. And I have XXL coffin, my most popular one that I would use for press-ons. Um, I have a lot of these because these are so cute. They make your nails look really nice. And then the other ones I have in there on the bottom are the regular almond and the regular square. So that's these. Right here I have backups on backups of my lint-free wipes. I told you guys earlier that I love these. 
these are just the opi lymph free wipes they come in a huge pack on amazon of like the three i think they come with all three in an amazon pack so i could try to link them for you guys if you guys want them um again these are just btr box full cover tips these are my alcohol and acetone this is my cuticle remover which i haven't used but i heard really good things about it and right here i have some acrylic nail tips which are the modern salon adoro tips these are super nice too i can't wait to use these i want to use them like soon because they're really nice so i have three packs of those i don't like running out of anything so i like having backups of everything even these alcohol and acetone i have big old gallons that i don't have right here but i don't want to run out so i have extra and right here i have some makeup wedge sponges i saw someone commenting why i don't use makeup wedge sponges instead of the beauty sponges the beauty blenders ones for um ombre with gel polish i don't like those i've already tried them they don't work the same it's not the same it doesn't give you the same effect so i prefer the other ones so that concludes my little nail area tour that little cage over there i have my turtle he's a tortoise a sulcata tortoise and he's a baby he's like this big um a lot of my clients love him but he's over there he lives right there so um he's really tiny and he doesn't make any noise or he doesn't bother anything so he's just there right there i have a mini fridge that is where i would always keep um cold waters and cold juices from all of my clients when they would come and now with the coronavirus um if i do open up or when i do open up i don't know how it's gonna be um for clients to take their mask off and like drink stuff but i do always have my little mini fridge right there and that concludes my whole nail area tour. I hope I went over everything. I know this video is hell long. I'm so sorry. But I really wanted to show you guys everything. So that concludes my whole nail area tour. I hope you guys really liked it. I hope you guys didn't get bored of me because I was just talking so much. This video is already an hour long. So I can't even imagine after editing how long it's still going to be. If you guys want links to anything, feel free to let me know. Comment down below. And let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you liked it. I love hearing your comments. I love replying back to you guys. And I appreciate all of your support. I appreciate any any feedback you guys want to give me. So yeah. Um, I don't know why I was so, ner so nervous to film this. But go ahead and give me a like. And subscribe to me. I want to make more videos. And I love hearing what you guys want to see. So anything you want to see. Feel free to let me know. And I'll film it for you guys. So thank you so much. And have a good day. Bye.